So were, were you as shocked as we were watching your teammates when you didn't play? Um, no, not at all. In the route against Michigan? I mean, like, honestly, be, be yeah. honest, because nobody knew. Like, you might have thought, hey, we got a chance to win. Uh -huh. But nobody thought it was going to be like that. Nobody. Yeah, I mean, I'm def I definitely knew we were going to win because I've seen the way our teammates play, and I've seen how Michigan play. Michigan, they deep. They deep their bigs and pick and rolls. And that's exactly how we play. We keep Kofi back. So all of those shots that Michigan gives up, those are the shots we practice for the last five to six months. So coming into it, like the Michigan, they keep two on two. They don't tag. They keep it between Dickerson and Mike Smith, the point guard in the center. So I knew Trent, like in practice, I've seen him score 10, 15 in a row off that. I've seen Bello get downhill and, and score off that. Like I've seen it happen throughout the last five to six months. So when, when I knew we were playing them, I knew I wasn't playing. I knew they had to step up. I was very – I felt very comfortable knowing they was going to come through. I, I, I want to ask you something really quick because that, that was a really detailed answer. How much film do you watch, like, pregame? How, how much prep do you do? Because that was a very, like, coach-like answer. That, that was a very in-depth, detailed breakdown of Michigan's pick-and-roll defense. Yeah, um, I, watch, I watch film every day. Um, I watch it either with my coaches or with my dad. And uh, my uncles, you know, um, have a is a good app I watch. So I, I it shows all the details, you know, of other players' percentages and stuff like that. So I just try to study that and study other teams' tendencies and um, other teams, how they, you know, operate in pick and roll, do they hard heads, you know, how how well do they do going left, you know, closing out, middle, do they make jump shots left, going right, you know, all the little things like that. Give, give me your best Curbelo story. He's fun to watch, man. He, oh, Bello. <laughs> Bello, that's my guy. Like His just, personality. Am I wrong? Yeah. Like, his personality yeah. just – now, again, he could drive you crazy watching him <laughs> at times, but he's so much fun to watch. He's so tough. Like, Bello, like um, – I knew Bello when I first got here. You know, I text all the guys, you know. You know, I introduced myself, and I, t I seen him work out. I'm like, yo, like – you, you, you have the it factor, you know, you, you have it, you have the ability to be great. So from that day on, you know, I told my roommate, Tyler, I said, I'm, I'm going to get on him this week. I'm going to get on him so he can understand the importance of how we're going to need him this week. I remember we had a, uh, me and Bella, we were in a, um, in a gym, we were playing open gym and we were playing like a little pickup. So, um, you know, he used to, he came from, come from high school, you know, so he used to, you know, really nearly dribble, spin move nice and now. I remember I drove one time. And like he cut me off and like I like put my shoulder in his chest. He flew, he flew back to the treadmill. And then I just want to see how he reacted. He got up. He, you know, he's tough as nails. He got up. He's like, yo, yo, why you do that? I started laughing. I shook his hand. Like, Are you past the test? We good. And then from that day on, I just took him under my wing. Um, I knew he was going to be a big part of our success as he is, is now. And um, he 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 has a great mind. Like he wants to learn. He asked me questions. Like he asks just he has a great mind to just get better. So you said at the beginning of that, that answer, I picked up on it. Uh, your roommate is Tyler. Yeah. Is that another Underwood? Do you, do you have yeah. to room with an Underwood and play for an Underwood? Yeah, but we blessed that, like, our apartment is, like, it's spaced out where, like, he's on the other side, and then, like, I have a whole big room. But, yeah, <laughs> I got a room when I play for one. Wait, what, what happens on the days when, when coach wears you out and you go back to your apartment? Are you a little bit nervous when you're like, man, coach, you know, no, I, coach, because <laughs> Tyler, I mean, it's his son, you know, it's, yeah. it's he coach been on me. Like he's been on me so much the last three years. It's like, you're it's more like I'm a nephew and like, he's the son. So even like if coach really yells at me, I can still talk to Tyler and know that he's no good. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. we, we've been in the program so long. All right. So the, the last thing I got for you, can you sing at all? I, no, I don't sing. Can you no. sing "Happy Birthday"? Yeah, whose birthday is it? This guy. Actually, it's, it's mine. I'm 32 today, my man. Oh, happy you birthday, to, man! If you don't want to sing to me, you do Let's not. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's 32. Do it. Ready? Ready, Io? Yep. I got a horrible voice. Horrible. Let's, let's do All it. Right, here we go. Three, happy, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. How old are you? 40? <laughs> 40? Uh, man, I'm 32. 32, 32 but old. honestly, Io, listen, it seems like you've been around college for a long time. Rob, uh, he set the record. 
No <laughs> college longer than Rob Hummel. Before they gave this extra year, I mean, uh-huh. this would have been like – how many years did you play, Rob? I played five, man. I put <laughs> my knee on my junior year, so I, I read Rob, he, and came he back. Just making Rob. it sound like I played for eight years. Rob, he's he gassing, Rob. <laughs> well, listen, we, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, you look way better with the mask than Underwood. <laughs> I told him, like, look, like, look, I told Coach, it's not for you, Coach. You're not a super coach. Girl. You can put it on. Put it on to finish it off. Finish out the interview. We, we got to see you with the the Catwoman mask. <laughs> Catwoman, <laughs> man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Listen, uh, hell of a season. Keep it going. Uh, you made the right decision coming back. You don't need me to tell you that now. You know you made it. But I think at the time, it wasn't easy. You didn't no, know you made the right decision then. No, right? it wasn't. It definitely was a tough decision for me. Good, good. Well, listen, I'll see you in Indy. I'll wave to you from up top.